I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. I went to Chapman University for my undergrad, and now I am getting my master's in library and information science at the University of Maryland in College Park. I was interested in library science for the sciences because I want to help preserve and make accessible historical materials. I've always been really interested in history, um, all kinds of history, and I'm passionate about making sure that history is preserved and that people have access to materials that showcase our history. My role with the Niels Bohr Library and Archives is to process a collection of papers from Gloria Lubkin, who is a physicist and longtime editor of Physics Today. So this project is important because it highlights the role of women in the physical sciences. Um, by processing this collection, we're making the materials accessible so that we can draw attention to uh, the role of women, um, such as Gloria Lubkin, in, in sciences. I think that by having researchers and historians and scientists um, of today in mind, it helps us to really process the collections well and, and best describe and organize them to make them findable. Additional funding helps students like me and um, MLIS and other humanities programs to get experience hands-on doing the work that we want to do. It also allows many people like myself to get the degree we need to get in order to get work in this field. I would say that it's very important to fund opportunities like these so that we can continue to make resources accessible, continue to make history accessible. Especially with my project, we are highlighting uh, women in science and women physicists who have long been forgotten and are often forgotten. And so these projects help to highlight history that desperately needs to be highlighted. The Henry Luce Foundation made my internship possible. The Niels Bohr Library and Archive received funding to create this project that highlights women in science.